The following video is a recap of the Clam Pearl research event. And welcome to Lewis's Adventures Plays Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. In this video, I will hopefully try and find a shiny Latias while also hunting for Clam Pearl and its evolutions during this weekend of fun in Pokemon Go. We're about to test out the new Go Snapshot feature, the update went live yesterday for iOS so now we'll be able to finally take pictures of Pokemon outside of trying to catch him now. Well the Go Snapshot feature works in Pokemon Go. It is amazing. At least now you can take pictures of any of your Pokemon that you've captured from any angle without switching to AR or AR plus mode while encountering them in the wild or during raids. You're about to see me begin my search for my first clam pearl during the event. It was amazing to finally be able to add this new wave of generation three Pokemon to not only my collection, but also the Pokedex. As you will see, the shiny rate was much better than the Phoebus research event back in January. I begin my clam pearl hunt near the art museum. One of the tasks I had to do was catch a certain number of water type Pokemon and various other tasks until I was able to get my first clam pearl. I did a lot of grinding and I had fun doing it.
What you're about to see is me catching my first two shiny clam pearl. And then later I do my first um, Latias raid. But unfortunately, I failed to catch this one even though technically it's no big deal. I already have Latias in my collection and in my Pokedex. But it also was not a shiny either. As you see here, I catch my first shiny clam pearl, which was a surprise because in the wake of the last research event with shinies being hard to get, I was able to get clam pearl as a shiny, which I didn't even expect. It was a surprise and because I seen leaks on the internet of shiny clam pearl, including through the various groups for Philadelphia Pokemon Go that I'm part of mentioning this. In the end, it was fun and I was able to catch some rare gems while I was at it. My second shiny clam pearl I caught off screen. I end up catching my third shiny clam pearl after I did this Latias raid while still hunting for other shiny water type Pokemon, which I wasn't lucky to get. But in the end, I ended up failing to catch this Latias because it wasn't just not shiny, but also it fled from me since it was a non shiny and Usually non-shiny Pokemon encountered in raids always flee, whereas shiny legendaries and other shinies caught in raids do not flee at all. I still had a blast and, well, after I caught that third shiny clam pearl, it was the last one I caught bringing the total of shinies I got out of this event to three.
and closed my video out with trying to find more shiny clan pearl which unfortunately I was not able to do so in the end I only caught three and I did get a lot of non shiny clan pearl to give away to trade to others who couldn't do this event because of various reasons which I will be able to give away to in the future. Well, this Clan Pearl Field Research Day has drawn to a close, and unlike the Phoebus Research Day, this time it was more successful, and it netted me three shiny Clan Pearl as well. Not to mention I was able to get the complete set of Clan Pearl and its evolutions, so that means now, for me, the Hoenn Pokédex is almost complete. If you like this video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure!